So here come Russia. Three wins in Group B in the preliminary round. Here come Montenegro. Struggling the opening two games. Losing 23-24 to France. So Russia, one down after that penalty and another good save. Well, neither shot's been particularly good so far in this game. And that goes in. Vidikina. Number six, who play for CSKA Moscow. Dmitrieva back on again. And uh, Ilina's uh, short spell on the lay. Uh, court is over, but Makieva found with a lovely pass. Lovely uh, supply. As always are, they're pushing out all the time. So here comes the switch again, Lukovic. They're pushing up very quickly onto her. That's more like, that's what they need. 5-2. So it's a, a good lead, but it's not an unassailable one. Nothing for the Russians to panic about, but they do need to put their chances away, though. This time as Batinovic makes a fine save. She just needed to shoot down next to the standing leg. Fortunately, Radicevic, who started the match well with a couple of early penalties, has now missed both her open play shots, and they pay the price at the other end. Dmitrieva goes straight through. Dmitrieva is breaking forwards fast now. Oh, good save, Batinovic. Third of the game. Managarova didn't quite get herself balanced enough to take a decent shot. A real chance to... Uh, Get on top of things here. Oh, straight through. Well, Jokovic had to decide, do I stay with Makieva or do I close the gap? Nine minutes now since Montenegro last scored. While conceding six goals, it's been a catastrophic spell in the second half after such a good start. Mimidovic, the most experienced players in her sixth European Championship. Glad to get out on court on the attack now. Place for CSM Bucharest in uh, Romania. Jokovic. Cannonball as she goes down to the ground. Second for her. <laughs> Tries to go around again and Batinovic saves end to end stuff here. Despotovic, Jokovic came back very kindly. She had the chance earlier. They weren't marking her as they put in two line players. Now when she just runs in on her own. Oh, brilliantly done. Under a lot of pressure. Just couldn't turn and Ramusovic. Flicks it. This is Kalinina. She's being held and just had to get rid of it quickly before she landed. Bobrovnikova, superbly placed. Goalkeeper went the wrong way anyway. They are digging deep though at the moment, trying to get a bit of rhythm going. Petikosic has joined the attack and that will certainly help. to a half-time break and maybe uh, come out fresh. Oh, good play to the line. Ramusovic a second and a nice assist by Jokovic. Jokovic. Despotovic. Beautifully done. And look at the reaction from Bojana Popovic as they take the lead again. During which time they've seen a two-goal lead turn into a one-goal deficit. Into the wing. They're level again, and we're inside the last two minutes of the first half. With two line players to choose from. Going through. Almost exactly the same move as last time. Dummies, oh, tried to bounce and go forwards. Play on, said the referees, which is good. I thought there was a bit of shirt pulling. Kotovic. You can see how she has to check herself and then face up to the uh, defence and go in. Much more comfortable from the left-hand side because she's right-handed. This Kotovic went all the way across and then took off. Kozoka comes around, teases a bit. Dmitrieva. Vedekina. Got some sympathy for her. 
addition to being uh, tough defenders. Well, <laughs> a few smiles on the bench as well. That looked extremely unusual. <laughs> so Russia are back to full strength again. Sidorikina back in goal. There's a little bit of space here. Oh, lovely spin! It was a closed angle. That was class. Nice power, but straight down the middle. That was a very comfortable save. That's an extremely opportunist pass, but did very well indeed. Saved by Sidoikina. Somehow Batinovic launches a Hail Mary pass and it reaches her. So play resumes after this, path, this it's a team timeout. Well, that would have been a penalty had it not gone in. It was a uh, passive play call against Montenegro. And another break, and the Russians are being careless here. Put down the middle, nice bounce shot. And Ambros Martin must be wondering what on earth are we doing out there. That's goal number five. There's the steal, almost identical to last time. Garova teases a little, then decides not to take the shot. They're very close in now, so they're not getting much drive at the uh, Montenegrins, but finally they get a gap. Cover, but just didn't, and Vidikina scores her fourth. Looks to the line, that wasn't a great pass to the line. There were so many defenders there, it was going to be hard. Dmitry Evak will go down the middle. Bobrovnikova to the line. Clips the underside of the bar and stays in. Applaud the third goal by Kuzoka. Russia, meanwhile, are back to full strength themselves. Ilina. Vidikina is there with her. That's a very closed angle for the wing, but put through. Very good shot. Fair to say that both teams have defended well, but have had the, their difficulties in attack. That's nice. Disputovic, long range shot. Oh, tries to spin it around. No luck this time for Samokina. Jokovic just needs to get one of those big frustration shots out of her system. There it is. Blasts it. It comes off the leg of Sidoikina and they're back within one. Well, Russia now. Something to watch. What a hero she would be if she managed that. Way over the top. And Russia win the game and maintain their 100% record by the skin of their teeth here against Montenegro who pushed them well. The final score... Montenegro 23, Russia 24.